Marvel's back on the big screens, but does that mean it was good? Welcome to another episode of the Popcorn Confessional. This is Dave from Nerdbox, and I'm accompanied by my wife, Jen, also from Nerdbox. And on this episode, we are talking about Thor, Love and Thunder. So fire up that Jiffy Pop and meet us in the booth. Gore, the God Butcher, has been traveling throughout the universe, executing gods in an act of revenge for their arrogance and lack of empathy for their followers. Thor returns to Earth in search of him and discovers that Jane Foster has taken the helm as the new God of Thunder while he was away. Gore kidnaps the children of Asgard in an attempt to lure Thor and Jane into the Shadow Realm to fight him where he is the most powerful. Yeah, so after Thor Ragnarok, I was excited to be getting another Thor, and then I watched it. I wasn't excited to get another Thor because what? I don't really like Thor that much. I thought they've done a really <laughs> good job with this character, and they kind of lightened him up a little bit in the last film, and then, of course, then you had Dad Bod Thor. But this film, I think they just went a little bit, no, a lot over the edge with the comedy. And I was just going to say, they're really trying to turn important. him into like, just like a comic. Like he was, the jokes were just constantly just trying to be funny. And it really didn't come off as that funny. No, no, it came off really childish. Like Marvel's new favorite word in a lot of their movies and TV shows is the word shit. And literally that that must have been dropped 20, 30 times in this. And to be honest, they had like a three minute discussion around the term shitty and how to use it. Yeah, I missed that part. I went to the bathroom, so I'm kind of glad I missed that yeah, part. Yeah, I didn't have to explain anything. Yeah, I was like, what did back. I miss? And he's like, you missed a conversation about the word shit. Okay then. I... Yeah, it kind of reminds me of Dune where there was a conversation about spit. <laughs> yeah, that was what you missed. Yeah. And it was so easy to just describe. They just had a conversation about spit. Yeah, I honestly don't know what they were looking to do with this film. I, I guess they saw Thor Ragnarok and said, oh my god, this is really good. Let's stay down the comedy route. Let's make Thor a big goofball who's really not intelligent and have him flying around yeah. the universe. And that was just it. They really, really, really played on his dumbness. And he was never this dumb or this dumb before in the past. Yeah, I don't... I was actually aggravated when we left the theater and I was like, why did they make him seem so stupid? I mean, he just didn't even know like the most simple things. Like it was, I don't know. Yeah, like in the earlier phases, it wasn't him being dumb. It was just his like not knowing about- Well, ignorance um, yeah. for Earth. Because obviously he's, you know, he's from a different realm, you know, totally different universe. So I get that. But now it's like, okay, he's been dealing with earthlings for many many years now and he's still stupid I, I yeah. like I don't get it if this Thor faced off against Loki or even Thanos the first time he would easily have been killed off oh yeah now yeah. let's talk about Christian Bale now I was excited in the beginning like when they introduced the character and how they brought about the character into the movies like oh he's gonna be a badass and I can root for him and then he got stupid too over the course of the movie. Like even he at, the, at certain points was telling jokes. Like with the, the puppet. Yeah, yeah. He, um, I love Christian Bale, don't get me wrong. He's an amazing actor. Just think that he gets some really shitty roles and this was one of them. Uh, of course, you know, he did the whole method thing, lost a bunch of weight. He was sickly skinny and eyes sunk in, which was all real because he really did it. <laughs> gonna kill himself one of these days I don't know but yeah I don't know and he wasn't you know even though he was supposed to be like the villain in this movie he wasn't in the movie as much as he should have been for mm -hmm. being the villain right that's like, that's the problem <laughs> with Marvel right now they yeah. don't know what they're doing with their villains like even Zeus like Zeus I guess I don't want to give any spoilers out on it but his character was just like doesn't fit why why are you doing this? Yeah, and the way they make him talk, that really yeah. annoyed me too. He I was, was like, like on a, 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 
as I'm Italian, so don't be offended. But he was like a true Guinea type of Zeus, the way he talked. I was expecting the Godfather or some uh, yeah. monsters to come out. Yeah, it was it was ridiculous that that whole part of it and the entire story. Like I think there was too many stories going on, right? So there was like Jane's story as like the Doctor. Then there's Jane's story as the God, and then there's, there's a lot like. Of caps. Yeah, and then there's like Thor's story, and then there's there's Gore's story, and then there's the rock dude narrating the whole thing to a bunch of kids, and I don't know. Now, see, I would have found that acceptable if he was narrating it, and it was stupid because he was narrating it, but yeah. it wasn't that, it didn't play out that way. Yeah, like if it was, oh, because this is the way he was telling the story, but he wasn't telling the entirety of the story. He was only doing bits and pieces, so... It all just kind of didn't fit together like a puzzle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there was just a lot going on, all in opposite directions of each other, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. So I, I guess you kind of know where the, our review is going when it comes to ratings. But this kind of sets up a uh, video that we, well, I've written out and that I wanted to do for a little bit on why the MCU has gone down the toilet and almost turned into the WWE with the way their stories are delivered. So we'll probably film that this week and drop it on the weekend. But uh, what do you rate this? Well, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to rate it nope, because, you know, we always go to see these movies with our kids well, regardless. So I'm going to say it's a one and done. Yeah, you have to say a nope is the Eternals. So I'm going to scale of... Yeah. A, a, Eternals being the worst, and probably Spider-Man No Way Home mm -hmm. being the best. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you're I'm just going to say one and done because my kids liked it. So. <laughs> yeah, I have to say it's one and done too because I really, I haven't, we haven't gone back to watch Dark World, mm -hmm. the second Thor, and this one was just a slightly little bit better than that one. Mm -hmm. So. Mm. Yeah. Anyway. Yes. Don't forget to check out Five Things. Episode 4 just dropped this past Monday. And it is the five characters in a horror movie that you should check out. Pretty interesting episode. And then next week we're talking about some co-op games. Definitely want to look at that one as well. And make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Yes, and stay tuned because we're going to have a contest announcement once we sort out some messages.